today is day 26 of Halloween costumes, and today I did Annabeth Chase from Percy Jackson. Now, I have my New York Yankee hat, because she has one that makes her turn invisible. I did orange eye makeup, I straightened my hair today. I'm wearing a jean jacket that she wears in the first movie. I'm wearing my Camp Half Blood t-shirt, which I made. On the back it has Athena and Annabeth's last name on it. And then I have on black jeans and my Nikes. Now, let's talk about Annabeth. I love, love, love Annabeth. I've been wanting to do her costume for a long time. I did it one time a few months ago, but I lost one piece of the costume, and I'm so mad that I can't find it. But it doesn't matter, because in the movie, it doesn't have it. And this is more the book meets the movie Annabeth. Annabeth is blonde in the book, but she's brunette in the first movie. The second movie, they dyed her hair. I think it's a wig. I hope it's a wig. Um... <laughs> Annabeth is a very smart, strong character. She is the daughter of Athena, who has a wisdom battle strategy. She seems very, very smart and has a lot of wisdom and is very smart around her years. She traveled well, around with Talia and Luke when she was seven. Luke was probably 14, Talia was probably 13. I'm going off of the age of in the book, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. Um, so she traveled along with them when she was seven, that's when they met her, and she's already pretty fierce at the age of seven, and her dad never really wanted her at home, her stepmom resented her, so Anna had a really troubled childhood growing up with her dad and her stepmom in New York, where she's from. Um, well, we're going to talk about the hat. Now the hat that I have, this hat. Annabeth has one called the, it's kind of like the Hell of Dark of Darkness, which is what Hades has, but the hat makes her turn invisible, the sneak attack. I think it's pretty cool. I love the, I love the part the hat plays in the books, and it's funny because, like, she'll, like, just run straight dead into Percy, and not even bother to, like, make herself visible. She just attacks him from the side, and it's hilarious reading those parts of the book, like one part she did the barrel into him and two other demigods with the hat on, hat popped off, he knew who, he knew what hit him. But uh, it was a very interesting part of the book. Um, the shirts, okay, the shirt is a Camp Half-Blood tradition. Everyone has a shirt that looks like this one. I made it to the best of my ability. And the back of the shirt, I don't know if I can show you the back of the shirt. We'll sh I'll show it to you guys in the mirror. I'll turn myself around. Um, we, we made the shirt because I've been dying to want a Camp Huffle shirt for a long time now. And I thought I had the courage to make it. Plus my mom has a ticket machine and that's how you make shirts. So on the back of the shirt, we have the owl. We have Athena's name in Greek, her first name, and then we have Annabeth's last name on the top of the shirt. That's how the shirt looks online, but this is the shirt that Annabeth wears in the book. She also has a necklace, but I can't find mine, so I'm not going to wear it today. Um, and the necklace has a bit of a um, fun part in the book. It is a way of keeping count of all the victories and requests a demigod has gone on. And they have one that signifies we've got their parents. Like, Percy has one on his necklace that's a triton, Annabeth has an owl on hers, she has her dad's college ring on it that he gave to Athena, and then Athena gave it back to him after Annabeth was born, so... He keeps it with her. And, um, it has, like, all the victories that Adelia has gone on. Now, talk about the first movie. I'm just going to talk about the first and second movie real quick. The first movie we meet Annabeth. She doesn't really like Percy. So no one's about him. She almost tries to kill him. As the movies go on, their, their relationship progresses. In the second one, they're dating in the books it wasn't until the third or till the fifth book should I say that they started dating 
but I think they're dating in the second movie because they didn't make any other movies besides the first and second one. So I think that that's more where you see Anna grow as a girl who, you know, kind of needs help once in a while and needs a man. But she, the whole first movie, she's like, you know, I don't need a man. I don't need help. I don't want help. I don't really think help is something I need. But Percy's like, you know, Anna, I can help you. You just need to trust me on this. So she thinks that Percy's her omen to get out of camp. And he ends up being the omen to get out of camp. But, um... Yeah, that was a good uh, suggestion movie. Um, the books are a lot better. I would recommend reading the books first and then watch the movie. But um, this is a cross theme that I've been really wanting to do because I love the books, I love the movies, and you know, I think that that this is something that any person can get into this book because you can see yourself through the characters in the book. Cause unlike Percy. Per ADHD and dyslexia. I have ADD and dyslexia, so I'm a lot like Percy in that way. A lot of people that get diagnosed with ADD or ADHD also have dyslexia, and that's how Percy is. Because he cannot read English. He can read Greek. That's not English. And the ADHD is impulsive. He can't sit still. He has to be moving. That's his bowel reflex. That's how they describe it in the book. But Rick Riordan, the author, wrote the book because his son is dyslexic and has ADHD. So he based Percy off his son. And he's any other characters coming to life. Um, I heard on Disney Plus they're making a movie, they're making a TV series. Oh, this, oh, I'm really excited for that TV series to come out because I'm definitely going to watch it. Um, I guess that's it for this Percy Jackson video. Um, I'm going to make another video after Halloween of more about Percy Jackson. So keep your eyes out for that. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below um and tomorrow i'm doing prudence hallowell from charmed so keep an eye out for that um and then after that is al is car danvers alice danvers and nia dreamer those are characters from supergirl so keep that keep your eyes for that and on the 31st i am doing daenerys targaryen so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy those costumes. So, um, leave me a comment down below if there's another video you want me to do or something you think you want me to talk about. And I will see you guys later. Rank Queen out.